Hey, good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or evening. So, thank you guys for being here today on the 9th of April, 2021, for our fifth question Friday. Um, let's see. And just checking in on who's here this morning on the chat. So, um, if you're watching us on the recording, uh, we'd love to have you here on chat sometime because we have a great group of individuals that always show up and um, have conversations here amongst themselves. And um, please do, if you are here live, um, I'd ask that you please put all your questions over here on the questions tab so I can find you okay as we go along. Um, let's see. I know we're missing some people this morning. Um, like our friend Leon from from overseas, it's like uh, one o'clock in the morning for him. So we're considering maybe moving our time up a little bit, a couple hours forward. Um, yeah, still not sure how that's going to work, but uh, we'll play with some times. And if you guys have suggestions on a better time where you can attend live, uh, you're welcome to drop that in here on the chat too, if you have some preferred times. Um, Let's see. So, been a busy, busy, busy morning. Um, so, I just got to settle in. Minute late here. Just got some hot tea. So, let's take our three breaths to go into the heart space. Um, and if you're watching this and you've never been here before, we, we always try to start with going into that sacred space of the heart, moving our consciousness from the head into the heart space. Um, and then from there, Usually we'll start with some internet questions, but I'm actually going to start with an energy update today and talk a little bit about some energetic stuff. Um, talk a little bit about some of the new tools coming through right now um, that will be available here over the next few days. And then we'll get into some questions. So again, feel free to drop your questions in. And please pardon my tardiness not quite readiness yet as you can see see i'm still in my messy humble abode here have not moved into the new studio but it's springtime here in south dakota so even though there's a little bit of snow outside um we'll be getting into the, the new studio here soon all right so let's take our three breaths into the heart space so close your eyes if you wish imagine your physical heart finding your light, your soul's fire within the heart. This is an exercise of the imagination and the intention. So we're going to imagine and intend connecting heart to heart with the earth. So take in that deep breath, take in that light, breathe in that light of the earth, right up through your feet and right into your heart. Now you're connected heart to heart with the earth. Next, we connect with the heart of creation. Breathing in that light of creation, source, soul, creator, God, however you see and say that. Breathing that light into the heart. The third breath is breathing in earth and sky. As they come into your heart, it mixes with you, your light. It then expands out. And you turn into this column of light that is grounded, connected, and in the heart space. So, some energy updates. Um, I know the past, you know, the past forever, it seems, and specifically the past week, 10 days, whatever, it's been um, very strange um, to put it in, in in a very vague term is that um, you know a lot of people have been having things either with stomach um, you know stomach aches headaches um, let's see I was talking with my sister Brenda this morning a lot of people with loss of passion um, you know there's been been a lot of different symptoms that people have been going through and the feeling of disconnection and that's one that i have been struggling with here for the past while is that feeling of being disconnected yet i know that we are always all always connected to ourselves 
but it's just that it, it's it's almost like finding a whole new way to connect. So anyway, when I was speaking with Brendan about it this morning, it was really interesting how it presented to me and how it presented was um, me, basically um, how it presented to me was it's almost like all consciousness, mass consciousness is like in this giant, I don't know, it's like a giant disc or saucer. It's kind of like, um, it reminds me of, if you ever seen the, the little videos, the pictures of how uh, a colony of ants that are in the water, how they all form like a ball or a big floating raft and they're all like connected together. So it that's kind of how it presented to me was is that it's almost like we're in this giant conglomeration of consciousness and we're flying through space time and um, we're just all there compacted and we are flying, we're moving and we're coming into a whole new space. So when I was looking at it, I was seeing where where we step into and it is, it's like we step into this great blue sky area and um, just right now we're just in this dark dense, well, it's not really dark or dense. It's just, it's, it's like nothingness. Um, it's an in-between space. But it's like we're getting ready to step out into this beautiful blue sky area where we then can disperse like little floaties of dandelions you know how you just blow a dandelion they just float and they they just inhabit this new creation um sorry for getting a little woo woo here for for any of you who are here just for the information on the tools um we you know we talk a little bit too about the energetics of things um you know, that, that does seem to affect everybody, whether you're conscious and aware of it or not. Because that's the thing is that, um, you know, this is affecting especially those who are awake right now, but it is also affecting those who are not awake right now as well. Um, you know, because there has been huge, huge shifts in consciousness um, as of almost a month ago. It's been three weeks um, since there was a huge shift in consciousness, um, throughout the universe. And, um, and we're going to start seeing those effects, you know, people are going to, they're going to be disillusioned with their current lives. They're going to be seeking what is their soul's heart's passion, because really anymore in the new paradigm, it's not about the old ways of doing because we've been ingrained um, throughout lifetimes of, of our mission, of our purpose, of everything. And that was very much part of the old world. And as we're stepping into all of this new, our purpose, our mission is not some grandiose specific thing. Our purpose, our mission is to be in the heart and follow whatever it is that's in our heart. That is our soul's heart's passion. Um, and so it's just following that, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be anything grandiose. It can be just hanging out, going to the mall, whatever it is that you do. Um, it can just be simple. It can be, um, you know, a, a seemingly simple mundane job even. Um, it's just all about finding that passion within the heart. And, and I know a lot of people that has kind of blown away because everybody has been on this trajectory through lifetimes and that's dissolved, that's dissolving. And so now then in this flux space, it is about being within and finding that new path purpose within the heart. And again, it doesn't have to mean anything on the outside, like a certain job or a certain partner or, or doing this or doing that. It is simply just being here and then flowing in the moment with whatever it is that you are drawn to. Um, and before we've always been drawn to distractions, rabbit holes, things like that, but you'll start to find that you're able to be more here and be in more of a true alignment, not distractions, not rabbit holes. 
anyway, um, just some interesting things that we're seeing. Um, we did a, so I did a reading with Brenda this morning. I left, gosh, I left all my notes over at the shop, but um, we did a reading on the new Taurus, the Divine I Am Taurus, which we have on pre-order right now. And I don't have one with me. We shipped off the ones that we had. Um, we originally made these new Tauruses for a gentleman in the UK who built this beautiful pyramid building. And he's putting in, in the center of this pyramid building, he has a one meter by one meter in the UK um, in, a, in like a six millimeter depth, centimeter depth that he's creating this floor plate. So he ordered like um, all these rings for a floor plate that he's going to be building himself there in the UK. Um, I try to get him to fly me over there, but uh, um, so with um, with the, the floor plate, he's he got some golden fire Tauruses. I'm making some giant headicas for him to go in there, um, and he wanted these um, smaller Tauruses. This is the outside ring for that Taurus, that divine I am Taurus. Uh, he wanted that Taurus to go on each of the six tips of that fruit of life and so it was pretty exciting making all these tools for him um, which we spent the last week or so creating for him and um, with that we have that new Taurus um, that new Taurus is made with um, the chalice rings uh, the outer is the chalice the petals are the chalice but the very center the very center is actually one of the harmonizer rings um and so it's yeah it and it's a different twist than this but this that size so anyway this new taurus it is that divine i am and we did a reading on it this morning and holy smokes um that aspect of my sister that came through it was bigger than her soul it encompassed her the elders three her soul but it it was so much more that came through and it was quite an quite an experience speaking with this consciousness through brenda um and again everything that we're doing anymore it is it's outside of this whole duality stuff of good or bad or you know of misinformation and all the stuff i mean it, it's a pretty phenomenal connection it was a pretty high divine connection it was the divine i am um and basically that's that's what it was that was speaking is the divine i am um and we received a lot of information about this new taurus which is pretty phenomenal on what it's doing it's doing everything that the divine i am pendant is doing but so much more um so that one uh we'll have the the updates on the content on that web page right now like i say it's just on pre-order we'll have it um we'll start having tauruses available here next week brenda's the one that assembles them so they'll still be an option to where you can get a um an attunement specifically to you with the taurus um it's it's not a huge deal because it it is so attuned to everybody um, but it is changing realities. That is part of this whole new paradigm that we were stepping into and these fields that we're working with is, you know, and we've spoke a bit about this more recently about how when we're doing healing work, let's say you have, um, you know, a rotator cuff issue or something and we're coming in and it is allowing the soul to clear that reality. So instead of doing the healing work, which, you know, wherever that connection is could have been, you know, lifetimes of stuff and other soul aspect. Um, you know, it, it is other things that is still us, but it's outside of this physical location that is causing that issue because everything that is here physically manifest in ourselves and in our own little realities, in our great grand realities, all of that is affected by everything energetically it's not just this here is the human and oh it's because of climbing a tree when i was a kid um you know 
So basically it's going in, the soul is going in within these new fields and it is clear in that reality throughout all time, space, dimensions, incarnations, and allowing you to step in more fully realized. And that is the divine I am. That's, that's what the divine I am pendant is doing. That's what the divine I am Taurus is doing um, on a great scale. It, it's, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so I guess a couple more updates. Let's see. We are working on a ring that goes inside of the Divine I Am Taurus or the Divine I Am Activator Pendant. Um, it is actually a harmonizer ring. Using that harmonizer ring with the chalice energy is pretty flipping phenomenal. Um, so we'll have that as an option here at some point in time, as well as the new um, pendants, which is the Divine I Am. Sorry. Everything has the divine I am in it anymore. This is the harmonizer ring. Um, I was looking for, I don't have one here, sorry about that. The chalice ring um, is a little bit smaller than this, that chalice ring pendant that we have. Actually, this nests right outside of that chalice ring pendant, nests right inside of this ring. So we're going to be calling that pendant um, simply the combo pendant. It's going to be a combo pendant is going to be the combination of the harmonizer ring and the chalice ring. Um, and we don't have a reading on that yet, but I tell you, it's pretty phenomenal. This harmonizer ring and how it works with the chalice rings and all the rings and the pyramids and everything. So I'm sorry. And I don't have my larger harmonizer ring either. I'll be doing a video here in the future with that larger nine and a half inch harmonizer ring on how to bend it to turn it into a collar ring, which is pretty phenomenal. Um, and we'll probably start putting this one as an option with the pyramids. Um, but then anyway, this harmonizer ring is gonna be a new pendant on its own. You can get the ring or the pendant, and then you can get the combo pendant, which has the chalice and the harmonizer both. Um, so to me, with the chalice and the harmonizer, the harmonizer is that bridge that is working within this physical electromagnetic reality. Um, everything in this physical and electromagnetic that this entire universe is made up of. Um, but then it is also a bridge into that, that other space where the chalice is. It is beyond frequency. It is beyond light. Um, it is simply pure. It's pure consciousness. Um, it is where the majority of who we are resides is in that space. And so this harmonizer ring is a bridge between those two spaces, that space beyond frequency, beyond time, um, beyond physicality. And this, which is within time, physicality, frequency, electromagnetic, um, so anyway, that harmonizer ring is also going to be, we have the harmonizer ring limited, which this is a thick gauge. Um, it just wasn't the right one for a pendant um, to go with that chalice ring. So we made a thinner gauge. So we're going to have this limited one um, also on the website that you can, you know, you can get this one. It, it's a little bit more spendy. I'm not sure what the price is on it. I we still have to go through the time studies because we do time studies on everything anymore time energy materials um, and we do multiple studies on each of the products to ensure that um, you know everything is set at a fair price based on what it takes us to create the tools um, you know based on last year's um, everything you know, we had over 10,000 man hours last year in the creation of the tools in 2020. Um, you know, so we have a pretty good handle on what it takes us to create these tools because we want a, a fair price. We've been traditionally keeping the prices so low that we actually have gone in the hole on a lot of the tools that we offered. Um, they were actually below what it cost us to create um so anyway 
let's see any other updates um i don't think so i don't think so again that's going to be the size of the new um taurus the divine i am taurus super excited about this one especially after we did the reading this morning pretty blown away by it um all right so we got quite a few people here on chat this morning and thank you guys again for being here um we got some great people here um sharing some great information um harmonizer finger ring you know we really don't know what we're going to do yet with the harmonizers the harmonizer ring um so basically, we can put the harmonizer ring into any of the cubit measures that we create. Same with the chalice. And basically, since March 1st, the chalice has energy has been put into every tool that we've created beginning March 1st. Every time I twist the wire, we bring in that chalice energy, and that is anchored into the physical crystalline structure of the wire. So you still have the tensor field. And then you have the chalice energy that is anchored into this. Um, and then we, the divine I am came through. So now then um, that divine I am is also being put into all the fields. But yet it is still like, um, let's say, a golden fire tensor field generator is still a golden fire tensor field generator on one level and layer. But then it is also bringing in some of the energetics of the harmonizer some of the energetics of the chalice and of the divine I am. It's, it's basically expanding what each and every individual tool is and is capable of. And again, it all works with your higher self. Your soul is the one who is in charge of what comes through. You still can, can say, no, that's okay. That's not for me. Um, but then, you know, so if you get a golden fire generator and you don't want any of the woo-woo, you can be like, no, that's not for me. And your soul will usually sometimes um, go along with you as the human's wishes. Um, uh, the necklace, Valerie's asking. No, you know, this is the, the centerpiece for the divine I am pendant is this piece here. And... Um, the divine I am pendant is way more potent and powerful. This guy is just pretty. I like it. So I kind of hijacked one from, from Lucas, our shop foreman, my nephew. He's the one who does all the silver work these days. Um, so anyway, I kind of snagged one from the workbench just to wear. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go over here to the questions. All right, so we have some questions here. So Brenda asks, what tool would be best for clearing a cyst on a kidney? Well, what really comes to mind first is the Divine I Am Taurus. Um, so the Divine I Am Taurus is, is one that is doing everything like what the Cosmic Sun Disc does, which is that regeneration Taurus. So the Cosmic Sun Disc, as well as the Golden Fire Taurus, um, you know, they were both working on our physical, but this divine I am Taurus, it's, it's working on everything. It is working on the physical and mental, emotional, the soul, all lives throughout time, space, dimensions, realities. Um, it is working on everything. And, um, to me, this, um, this divine I am Taurus is going to be huge. Um, but yeah, you know, that is a, what is it? It is a $299 tool, uh, Brenda. So we've heard a lot of really phenomenal things taking place too, with just the simple chalice rings, whether it is the, the pendant or the bangle, doesn't matter the size, um, but then with this harmonizer ring and the chalice ring together, um, to me, that is going to also be a pretty powerful combination for doing the work on the physical. Uh, Judy, have you considered the idea of making a wrist bangle with a harmonizer ring? 
Yeah, yeah, you know, we're still, we're still trying, we're, we're still being guided on what to do with all the tools right now with the harmonizer ring, everything. So I guess that's kind of where I was going here a minute ago when I mentioned that we are bringing in, you know, the chalice energy into all the tools now um, as of March 1st in their creation. Um, that divine I am is permeated through all the authority templates, the tools. So that's basically in everything, um, you know, and the harmonizer ring, um, you know, when I'm twisting the wire for each specific tool, sometimes that harmonizer ring very much comes, that template comes very much in the forefront that it wants to be used with that specific tool. And then sometimes it's not, in there anywhere it just kind of it, it's not a part of that the energetics of that tool so as we're still kind of feeling everything out with this harmonizer ring and what its best potentials are um you know we we made a few little tensor field generators with it and they're buzzy they're potent but uh, we you know still not sure about them yet um so as far as making a lot of tools with the harmonizer ring, we're still just kind of going slow with that and feeling our way through it. Um, but it's nice that we now have a, another size of harmonizer ring available at the moment. Um, so yeah, we're, we're still playing with that one, Judy. Um, and Linda, what ring would be used to broadcast to someone through a picture? Oh, awesome. So um, the harmonizer ring is is the one that I would feel for broadcasting to someone through a picture. Um, you know, that harmonizer ring, it's, it's one that I've been recommending to people working with radionics. Um, there was a gentleman who called me who, who's, um, he works with sound. And he's been using the tensor tools with with not only putting it onto like uh, an amplifier receiver to change the quality of the sound that comes out your speakers. But to me, it's, uh, uh, you know, I'd rather work with the harmonizer ring on the speaker it itself or whatever it is that's generating that physical sound wave, whether it's a crystal singing bowl or a speaker or anything of that nature. Um, so and then um, again, broadcasting to someone through a picture, I reckon it recommend the harmonizer ring, um, and, you know, and you can use just the little, the little pendant size, and it doesn't have to cover the whole person on the picture, you know, it's going to cover the whole person anyway. I'd say put it over the heart. That's what I'd feel. Put it over their heart or over the head or just anywhere on their photo. Um, because you're going to have the intention that it's going to be broadcasting that energy to them and they will receive it. Um, and again, it's going to go through their soul first and then their soul will allow whatever, well, the soul will determine what comes through and then hopefully the person will start to allow it to happen. Um, and that's kind of like with the divine I am Taurus is that when you have that in your home, it's going to affect everybody in your home. And it will, for those, it will clear traumas and programs and belief structures and all the stuff for those who, whose programs, belief structures, traumas are ready to be released, are ready to go. Those that are everybody within that space, um, and that's kind of like talking about using the harmonizer ring with a photo, is that anything that they are ready to let go of to release within their reality it will do it automatically and quickly with grace and ease but if there are things that they are still holding on to that's a little bit tougher thing to where you actually would need to work with the person and have a conversation with them about releasing letting go um chalice finger rings the same as the other chalice rings yes april um so the silver the silver finger rings that we have are purely just the chalice energy. And that's the same with like the chalice bangles and the chalice ring pendant. They're purely just the chalice ring energy. 
which that is a pretty phenomenal thing, uh, especially when you just want to work with just that chalice ring energy, because then though the chalice ring energy is in all the tools now, um, it's easier to just be able to attune to and work with just that chalice energy with just a simple chalice ring versus having, you know, a golden fire tensor field generator and having to wade through there and find just that chalice energy so that you can attune to it and start to use it. Because this chalice energy exists throughout the universe. Um, it has been here since the beginning. Um, so it, it's available everywhere. It's just more about getting attuned to it so that you can then pull it through and, and hold it. Because there's not much doing with that chalice energy. Um, and then, Marsha, how does the Divine I Am Pendant compare with the new Taurus Pendant? Um, so we have the, and I'm not sure which one you're talking about, Marsha. So this is the Divine I Am Pendant. And then we just made the um, Divine I Am Taurus. So those are the only two that we have available right now um, is the Divine I Am Taurus and the Divine I Am Activator Pendant. This piece is simply just, um, this piece is actually just this outer piece that goes right there is all this is. And so this is nothing, you know, that it, it, it's just something that I wore just as a, as a pretty. <laughs> you know, and that's really it. Um, and so if, yeah, I, we're probably not going to sell these guys on their own. Um, so sorry to tempt you. I'm sure we could, but um, we're not going to list them on the website. It is still going to be the Divine I Am Activator Pendant. And soon we will have the other ring that can nest inside of here, that harmonizer ring to give it that extra, um, that extra oof. It's, it's um, pretty amazing how they work together. Um, let's see, April, getting the wings of talk. Could you talk about it? Yes, yeah, so the wings of talk is kind of like our um, golden fire and light wands in that the wings of talk can create a column of light and it can do everything that the golden fire and light wands do. So, um, you know, there's there's a lot that you can do with the wings of talk in that if you actively use it, that you can set it into a space and it creates a space within the environment as well as that column of light. And you can intend that that stays there. And then you can take the physical tool and the energetic field everything will stay right where you intended it to be and you can even use it to do distance work so if you know of a place like your kid's school you can imagine that going there creating that column of light where it is anchored grounded connected and expands out and you can use it in that fashion um, so actually within the wings of talk there is on the on that page there is a webinar where where we talk about it and some of the uses there on that webinar, April. So if you haven't seen that one, please do check it out because it gives you some some uses that you can can utilize with it. But then also, it gives you kind of like that attunement, um, like with all of our tools, you know, like the wands, uh, the golden fire and light wands. You we actually have the videos there too to where you can utilize that tool, just like the Wings of Talk, you can utilize it without owning the physical tool, just by watching the video um, and you, you you attune to that energy. And as all these tools are quantum, um, these are just physical space holders for the energetic one that we created. You can use the Wings of Talk without having to have the physical one. Um, but yeah, please do check out the product video on that one. Um, let's see, Sinan, do you think to sell only the thick gauge ring on the Divine I Am Taurus? So, hmm, no, probably not, because this ring is actually, 
the regeneration ring, but with a tighter twist, and we put in the chalice energy into it instead of the regeneration. And so we would probably not sell this on its own because of the fact that it, now that we are anchoring in some of these new etheric templates into the other tools, the other measurements, it's getting kind of confusing in the shop in that we have to be really careful of making sure that we don't have the same tool because we have a lot of tools that are exactly alike in size and in twist and so we're having to do slight variations in the twist so i can tell these apart when they're side by side because of the slight variation in the twist pattern this is a little bit tighter twist in this torus ring but yet the um the regeneration the four and a half inch regeneration ring is the same gauge just a little bit lighter twist and so it's, it, it's starting to be a little bit confusing in the shop and we don't want to bring in a lot of products that look exactly like each other because we don't want to mix up any of the energies. So, um, yeah, I, we, we probably will not sell this one as, as its own thing. Um, we're trying to keep things simple for our packaging crew um which <laughs> which we're having to label a lot of things these days and then even um in the shop down low in in the production area um we're having to keep everything very much com compartmentalized as the sets of tools come through so that they're not getting all mixed up and putting in the same shaker and then we're trying to figure out and spend an hour trying to determine what is a ring with two millimeters difference in length on it um, just to be quite the chore um, marcia i have the divine i am pendant want to know if the new divine i am taurus pendant that you're releasing has the same or different energies cool thank you marcia so the um the divine i am pendant all of this is in this divine i am taurus the Taurus contains so much more and the Taurus is doing a whole lot more. Um, and that has to do with because of, of the toroidal field. The Taurus is the toroidal field. It's not the bull Taurus. It is the toroidal field Taurus, the, the tube Taurus. And so with that toroidal field and how the energy flows and that zero point that's created inside of there, it just has the capacity to hold more our belief system we'll transcend that sometime it has the capacity to hold more in our belief system than the simple expanded seed of life um by the way the energy flows within it so yes the new divine i am taurus is is much more than what the divine i am pendant is um, let's see Back over here to chat and see what's happening. Um, let's see. And Samson is talking about uh, some of the shifts that he's had since wearing the chalice ring 24-7. Um, let's see. Notice things rising up to the surface with more ease. Can simply transform it. But it also does take me to bump my head a couple of times before I get that I can let it go. Yeah. You know, the spiritual two by fours aren't quite as rough. And that's something that I've heard pretty much across the board, Samson and everybody, is that, you know, the spiritual two by fours that we get about releasing things aren't quite as bad as as before when we are working with these chalice energies, um, because it allows the dissolution of those old realities to happen so much easier now. Um, what would you recommend to release a little easier the harmonization breath in, in yes, um, I would totally check out that, that YouTube video of my sister, that harmonizing breath. Um, cause it's a quick, simple, easy way to, to do the release work. Um, and then there's a new YouTube video too, that 
um you know some of you guys might have seen the, the audio quality is horrific so my apologies on that but it is the attunement to chalice energy which is it's it's kind of cool to be able to um to where we held the space to where when you watch that video that you are able to pull in that chalice energy more tangibly um it holds the space for you to do that so um you know just to to make things a little easier yeah you know that that simple breath work is a great way to do it to just you know and and to about the new work for for that shadow work the release work however you whatever you call it a lot of it is working with the soul and talking with the soul and and the surrender and the letting go um all of those concepts and however you can do that whether it's just with an intention or an asking of the soul um you know our soul is our best friend um and it's it's quite a powerful powerful consciousness and um and within these new fields we can shift realities pretty quickly um, back to the questions. Will the new divine I am Taurus pendant be offered in silver? So this is the divine I am Taurus, which is pretty giant. I would wear it as a pendant, but it's still pretty dang heavy. Um, no, we will not be making this Taurus in silver um, just because it would probably be like a $1,500 Taurus. This gauge of silver is pretty dang expensive. Um, you know, it's, I don't even know how much it is. It's, it's, it's pretty dang expensive. And so, no, we won't be making the Divine I Am Taurus in silver. Um, we have the Divine I Am Activator Pendant, which is in silver. And then we have the harmonizer ring, which we will be um, releasing at some point in time here over the next week, probably, that will nest within here. So we have the harmonizer pendant that is the slider gauge one that is going to be used with on its own or with the chalice ring. And again, that chalice ring nests right perfectly inside of there. And we're going to call that the combo pendant. Hopefully this weekend we'll have that one released. Um, but um, those still are the harmonizer pen, the harmonizer rings. We're still currently only making in copper. Um, again, we're not sure where we are going with the harmonizer energy yet. Um, really don't know. And, and I don't even really want to speculate. Um, and Brenda, if I lay a crystal on a picture of the divine I am Taurus, will the crystal hold the energy for a while? Yes, totally. So that's it, you guys, is that the when you see the photos on the website, they are anchoring in the etheric templates of the tools right into the photos. So you can print that photo out and um, or screenshot it or whatever, and um, it will carry that energy. That's, you know, that's like with our catalogs. Um, we have master feng shui people who use our catalogs as as their their cornerstone to their feng shui i mean they will put it in with their line in that certain spot of the house or else out in the property and they will place it in that line and it brings the energetics of the tools through that space through the line through the feng shui that they work with so if you use that photo um brenda to put a crystal inside of that photo it will totally bring that energy into the crystal and make that accessible um let's see i keep thinking that there was something else here this morning um i guess yeah if if um if any of you guys know our Good friend Scott Miller, who um, he's here now with um, the Crystal Hotel. Scott 
Um, do I have any of this? Nope, I don't have any of his pendants right here. Um, he, he crossed over last night. Um, so we're, we're pretty excited and happy for him being in a new space without his physical meat suit. And he went through the, he went through the ascension, um, but didn't keep the physical. Um, you know, he, his physical was in kind of bad shape and, um, you know, I think he was just ready to reset and come back as a realized individual. Hopefully he comes back here on this planet again as a realized individual. Because so many that are crossing over, you know, that's, this is the lifetime to, to be realized. Um, this is the lifetime that we've all been holding off and waiting for. And, um, you know, it's from, from what I hear from people who have crossed over, um, at the moment that they, that they, um, had their physical death, they became realized they, they became in that ascended mindset and realization. And it was so beautiful that they did not want to hold on to the body. And so that's something that I've been, you know, talking to myself about is, hey, if it's my time to let go of my body, I would rather stay and stay here as that realized master being and still be here in the physical. Because there's a lot of people on the planet that are that already. And, um, and there's going to be so many more. And so... Anyway, it's it's a beautiful time. It really is, and and we're totally getting ready to break on through to the other side, you guys. Um, and you know, a lot of people predict that's just still going to be a lot of chaos and a lot of denseness and everything else. But I would totally like to believe that. All of that is so shiftable within a moment, you know, watching us the way that we are shifting realities right now is pretty phenomenal. And I'm speaking of like physical realities, mental, emotional, on how um, things just change. And it's, 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 it's rather beautiful. So anyway, um, <laughs> hey, Tasha. So... I suppose that's everything I got for this week. Um, let me see. Next week, we'll probably have a 50 question Friday again. Um, today, I'm going down to Cheyenne, Wyoming and uh, doing a holistic fair there. Then next weekend, uh, we're just kind of taking off um, of, of doing. And then my daughter and I will probably go play in the beautiful Black Hills of South Dakota. Um, and then the following weekend, what is it, the 24th, I think, that weekend of April, um, we'll have a booth in Gillette, Wyoming, but then we'll also be in Minneapolis, St. Paul area. I'll be in Minneapolis, St. Paul um, at the Body, Mind, Spirit Expo there and working on getting um, a place to do the to do the transcending the matrix workshop which soon i think is going to be called the divine i am but i um, not quite ready to present all that yet but that's kind of where we end up going and attuning to in these new workshops is um yeah is is stepping in and getting attuned to this chalice energy uh, working on clearing realities that no longer serve us and allowing us to step more into our divine I am. That, that higher blueprint of, of who we, our highest potential of every moment is. And as this world is shifting and changing and all our consciousness is shifting and changing so fast, who we are can shift quickly to that's why I'm not really worried about what the timeline is or all of this beautiful stuff because, you know, I know that it can happen in an instant. It really can um, because we're seeing it on 
personal levels, not only within ourselves, but within other people as well. So have high hopes, you guys. Um, don't stress about the outside world. Know that all of that, it's it's just doing its thing. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a lot that I could just drone on and talk about you know, with that whole concept, but I'm not. I would really like to um, just end it with um, please check out some of the new videos, I guess, on YouTube that um, the, that uh, Chalice Energy Attunement, and then especially the videos, again, that Brenda has online there. And we'll get into doing some more videos with her sometime here soon, too. But... Um, yeah, just just keep keep being internal and not looking into the outside world for confirmations, for the help, for any of that. Know that your soul is there, that you are connected. And the more that you can just sit and be and be in peace and bring in that chalice energy and allow surrender to the soul that is where the true magic and miracles are happening these days so um, i hope you guys all experience magic and miracles it has its ups and downs i tell you it's been a lot of downs over the past few weeks but you know it's today's a beautiful day um today was a day that i personally was able to connect better and start to see the world in a whole different way um and there's a lot of people going through it and just know that it is all perfect and divine. Like I said, I could drone on here forever, so I'm going to just stop. All right, you guys. Take care. Thank you for being here. We'll see you next time.